What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today talking about the plot details that were released along with the teaser trailer that came out last night because I didn't really talk about that. I didn't realize so many other things came out besides the teaser trailer. Um, we're going to talk about that, talk about the official poster and just go over some of the stuff I'm thinking is going to play out in this movie going off of this synopsis that's out here so the plot synopsis that was released for halloween ends is telling us that it's four years after the events of last year's halloween kill halloween kills laurie is living with her granddaughter allison and is finishing writing her memoir michael myers hasn't been seen since laurie after allowing the specter of michael to determine and drive her reality for decades has decided to liberate herself from fear and rage and embrace life but when a young man Corey cunningham is accused of killing a boy he was babysitting it ignites a cascade of of violence and terror that will force Lori to finally confront the evil she can't control once and for all. Now, going off of that synopsis about a boy, again, Corey Cunningham, who many people, again, are still asking in the comment section. I've seen it on my videos. I've seen it in other videos. They keep asking who is Corey. That's who Corey is. Corey is the new Michael Myers S character that we are pro that we presumably are going to be focusing on the most going into Halloween ends he is gonna be someone who going off of what the teaser opened with that was him going up those stairs into this boy's room and he's gonna kill this boy and everything will play out from there uh i, I pointed it out how when he's opening the door it transitions into a room that doesn't look like the room we just saw yeah we get to see michael myers opening the door to what is Lori strode with a gun in her hand but everything prior doesn't match up to the scenery behind Lori and the stuff that even pertains to michael opening the door also in that shot somebody else and a lot of people actually pointed this out at rather the whole hand thing it looks like michael's whole hands fingers being back can be explained away by if they're literally gonna give us somebody presumably Corey cunningham who is going around pretending to be michael myers using the michael myers costume and just doing that to mess with people like maybe there's going to be some type of commentary on copycat killers and how evil influences other people and maybe just a deep dive into a character study about evil in its purest form it's just so many different things that can be going on we know Lori's white is writing a memoir uh michael hasn't been seen of course since for the past four years there were were shots of a tunnel in the uh teaser i liked that scene i felt like it was kind of a small reference a little nugget to halloween resurrection for those of you who have seen that scene in that movie you know what i'm talking about but the teaser again all in all was very effective set a good mood uh definitely was something that was effective in how it wanted to entice you without showing too much it was just a lot of quick cuts of things we're gonna see also we did ba basically get the confirmation that will Patton is gonna be back obviously we see him in the teaser so we'll see what type of role he plays going into the movie and i have seen some people talk about the poster that was released how they're not really too satisfied with that uh so we're going to talk about here in the coming seconds but that plot description at least lets me know that Corey cunningham is definitely going to be a big piece of this movie uh, and as it pertains to the, maybe the town of Haddonfield, just seeing that as the next michael myers and they're going to do their best to stop that character now this was the poster that was dropped for Halloween Ends. Some people, again, have already said that they do not like it. They are disappointed in the lack of creativity around these posters. Honestly, it is lining up with the other two. The Halloween Kills poster and the Halloween 2018 poster, basically in the same vein as this. I'm not too shocked we got this. I'm sure they'll drop some other different variations of a poster uh, as we get closer to the release date this October. I think we also have confirmation, you can correct me if I'm wrong, in the comment section of the movie having an IMAX release. So that's also very nice to have. Definitely get to see and seeing a uh, Michael Myers movie, Halloween movie in general in IMAX is going to be a definitely must have experience for me. So going back to that synopsis, that plot description really quick, Corey Cunningham and his relationship that he have will have with Allison. I really am interested to see how that plays out, how Lori is in and of herself dealing with that, because I'm going to assume that she's dating the boy now why she's dating the boy i do not know maybe there might be something else going on where she doesn't even really have feelings for him as much as she is trying to understand why he did what he did um and maybe some part maybe something of what he did impacted allison 
and for whatever reason that's just like another layer on top of what she's already dealing with with the loss of her father the loss of her mother and all these other different things that happened on the night of 2018 the loss of her boyfriend so many different things she could be juggling mentally in this movie that deals with her emotional turmoil along with Lori and then something maybe very specific about Rohan Campbell's attack Corey Cunningham's attack on this other victim maybe it's tied to Allison's drama that she has going on this time around other than of course just being his girlfriend maybe there's something that draws her to pretend to like the boy and draw information from Corey for whatever we, we honestly won't know until we see the movie I do know I've also seen some people talk about Corey or not Corey but Lori's outfit and again how again I pointed out that's like basically an homage to what she was wearing at the end of the 1978 classic movie uh, definitely a lot of parallel sequences and shots that were showcased in that kitchen brawl. I like that. Very nice touches there. Paying respect to the OG. But as far as like her outfit and what she has on, it's also quite possible that maybe she is having a difficult time coming to grasp with the fact that she realized this was never always about her. Uh, like what Hawkins told her in the movie. And she might be trying to get desperate for whatever reason. Now, Texas Chainsaw fans... Texas Chainsaw 2022 fans and just people who are aware of that movie, I know already if you are someone who knows where I'm going, I probably don't even need to say it. I hope it's nothing like Sally Hardesty. If she really, really is on a path like that, I hope it's nothing cringe like Sally Hardesty. You need to just, you need to know when to just call it quits. If it has nothing to do with you, I really don't want to see a narrative in which Lori is just so desperate to have somebody remember her that she ends up getting herself killed she gets thrown in the trash can and she's treated like nothing i i think that would be even worse maybe than her exit from the series with resurrection i don't want to see anything like that so if she's in this space where she's so desperate to maybe try to convince michael to remember her uh because of course with that with that dialogue from Hawkins, she probably has some seeds of doubt that Michael even knew who she was when they were brawling. So now she wants him to know who she is when they're brawling. I hope it's just not something that's over the top and very cringe in its presentation. They go down that route. But let me know, know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.